I'm going to teach you property binding in Angular. So we'll, le we'll learn what property binding is, what is the use of it, why it is important. And after that, we'll talk about uh, two-way data binding. Using one of the very popular directory tag in Angular that is called ng model. So what is the agenda for this today class? Actually, we'll create a login page where user is supposed to enter username and password. And when user click on the authentication button, you have to just validate username password is correct or not. So on top, you can show the message. User is correct, a user are passed, fail. What is the message you want to show? You can show it. When you click on the clear button, this username password will be set as a blank. And uh, in last, when you click on the show history button, you have to show the table. Here you have to show the history uh, entered by the user, right? Whatever history is done, like how many times your username password was incorrect and correct. You have to show all the history over there. I hope uh, agenda is clear to everybody. This thing we have to design from the scratch. Ready? Ready. Ready, yeah. sir. We so what ready. we need to We're and ready. guys ask questions, right? If you have. So I'll explain you everything what property oh, binding oh, is. Yeah. Right? Property binding is important. I'll explain to you. First, I'm going to create a new project for this. So you know very well how to create a new project. Yep. You go to the C drive. And here uh, you can go to some folder. Already we have Angular 10 1000, right? So what is the command to create a new project? Ng ng new. new. Oh, you know it. Project name. L project name. Project name. You can give anything. Auth UI. Yep. I want this kind of energy from you. Property binding. Yeah, property binding the concept which I'm going to teach you. Here you have to yeah. select. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, again, Done. I have a question. Please go ahead. Uh, for like single page, you know, like uh, um, web public. For single page, you know, like application, we don't need like, you know, we don't need to do routing apps, right? No, no, no. That's what actually, no, no, no. I'm telling you many times you have to navigate uh, you many times. Uh, I would say always, right? You have to navigate from one page to other page, right? Within the master page. Then you need navigation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For example, you are on login page, right? Login screen. When you enter username password, username password is correct, right? You want to navigate to your landing page dashboard. Are you following me? Yeah. But in master page, you have to always change the, you know, it's sub page. You have to always go to the, you know, it's, it's, it's children component. So navigation is important. That will come in the picture. Oh, okay. Right now we are just dealing with only one screen inside the master screen, right? Yeah. But later, uh, we are going to use many screen altogether. You know, one application is, you know, developed from many screen. It's ready. Wow, what I need to do? I need to go inside my project. How? Here you can oh, use nice. this command, dir command and cd auth ui. Done. And you can use this command, ng. ng sharp. I want to free my screen first. It's already running over here. Okay, then I need your help. ng serve. ng stands for Angular command, which is used to invoke Angular CLI, right? Like in Java, when you use Java command, it invokes Java virtual machine. Similarly, in Angular, ng is the Angular command, which is uh, invoking your CLI, Angular CLI. And serve is a, one of the parameter to uh, publish your application, to run your application. Okay. So I want to open this in my editor. You know how to do it. CD uh, code space dot. Yep. Yep. You can go inside your project. Yep. And code dot. Or you can directly um, you know open it as well. So, sir, if you got this much, wow, this is not that one. Here you can go and type. Nagin, I have a quick question. So close forty two hundred. Go ahead, so, Noor. In between. After we run a project, you just uh, use code dot. So that's for just opening. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, opening, opening, opening. That's it. Done. And I told you right in previous session. Which one is the master page in this? You know, index.html is the master yeah. page. In that, uh, your your main component is this one. So I'm going to make it blank, right? And let's it make it slowly. Uh... Yeah. Already I have this code. Allow me. I can make my header. Yep. You see, see? Copy paste. Copy paste. And this header is coming. You know it. You would say, Nagin, go, go, go. You know it. 
after that you can use uh, another one of the html5 uh, what tag main tag and why i'm using class container any guess it would uh, basically this is for layout of the uh, you know main page container means it is going to be aligned in middle right and it will occupy the space of 1170 pixels make sense yeah makes sense Excellent. after that uh, you want to add some picture photo yeah we can do that picture i am going to copy from photo images i am going to copy from other project allow me this is my other project okay how to copy it right click on that uh, reveal in file uh, reveal uh, reveal reveal if you allow to me image i am able to copy you know you see my style my project is i know my project in angular, angular 1000 right or ui allow me src assets hey mr i can create img folder and copy it yes you know i copied yes sir from the folder itself can you see this done nice so if you see in my editor can you see this my dear friends is came over here now you want to put this picture here which tag we can use image tag image tag hey, am i going fast or you are following me done can you see this nice it is not coming in middle right if you want to make it in middle what you need to do nice you know what i forget uh, my bootstrap is not working why man if you want you to have to put the, the link on uh, yeah. digital html one exactly yeah. i forget that that's why it's not coming so i'm just copying from other other places all right you know it right i'm assuming you know it that's it now you see wow it's looking nice I have to design my login page. You know how to design? How? In order to design it, already explain you bootstrap thing. You know it, right? If you allow to me, I can copy paste. So we have division, right? This is for blocked element, and here we have a form group, right? You know it. Let me copy paste. If you don't know, let me know. Hmm? Yep. The like here, you tell me anything is there which is not clear to you guys in this. just have a look why we use form group form group is one of the bootstrap css which is used to group the element label hey can you see the label and we have one input field and id label for for whatever you have for an id we always keep same any reason so that when you click on the label automatically your input field should be highlighted you want to see how it looks like can you see this yep vishal any question query if you have shall no sir ram what about you no i didn't have a question until here uh, and my answer like i have uh, one confused on like how to like uh, upload the image uh, i'm having the problem in that can you please show it again yeah 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 okay actually uh, in your project if you want to keep your photo right in this so in assets uh, you can make a folder let me let me add one more image right in front of you is okay so i'm going to the internet please come with me okay okay sir so you, you can take any folder i'm just taking folder of child and uh, like here you can get a lot of photos right and if you here from here you can choose some photo with zero background right let me do it. you can click on the tool color and transparent so you can decide what photo you want to take right it is up to you so you just click on it suppose you want to take this pic right so you can go and download it you know how to download it that <laughs> save, save yeah yeah save yeah. image as right so i got this image right and i'm i'm just uh, downloading it in my d drive you can give any name to it right just give my name to it it's okay please tell me if you don't know don't it's not clear to you right okay yeah yes sir yes sir like up to now i'm i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm getting now you now you copy it copy i copied it after copying actually you have to put this photo in this image folder right you want to keep in this or in some other folder yeah image folder yeah image folder so mm -hmm. normally here you cannot paste it right so what you can do right click on the yeah. photo image yeah. and click on reveal in file explorer ah, okay So you will go to the location, or now you can easily paste it. Oh. When you paste it, your photo uh, you can see now here. 
nagin.png. Oh. Now this photo you want to add over here, right? Okay. So here you have to write my name. That's it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And I, you I, see? I, yeah, I got you. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagin. Now you come to the you should come to the main page. You see this photo is coming over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I got it. I am having problem in that photo. Okay. Okay, no, thank no, you so much. No, no issue at all. Like here, if you if you are giving the height to it, it's coming in next page, right? Because of space and all, that's fine. That is a part of the design. You should not bother about it. Clear? Yep. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it now. Thank okay, you. Okay, now cool. So this is clear to everybody. I have one input field, uh, name, uh, username. Similarly, if I want to make it for password, can you help me? Simple, copy paste, and uh, you can make it password, ID password. Hmm and type password because you want to mask it and password is password name is password i hope it, it is clear to everybody yep here you can give the password any question query so far no question query it's done next you want to put the button hello similarly you can make another division how you can make the button ram there's a button tag right yes and type because to button button wow Plant everything is, is called coming. the button button primary yeah here you can say auth clear and you if you want to make it uh, fancy you can use bootstrap class equals to gtn first css second css is gtn secondary second primary primary not secondary are you kidding okay i think secondary is there. i don't know secondary is there or not right primary is there for sure and I mean, here, right? yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe you are right. That's why I'm not saying anything. So I have two button, right? This button is clear button. <laughs> if you want to give the space between two, right? So NB, here, yes, NB. yeah, NB, NBSP you can use, or you can use style. Uh, you can write margin left, right? Margin right, you can make like 5px. Are you following me? I told you there is many way to do it, right? Done. Clear? And if you allow to me, what I can do? I need to put one more button over here, right? I'll do it in last, fine. So to complete my design, if you allow to me, I can I can add a table component also. Please allow me. For table component, already we have this code, right? Let me do that. What code we have? Table. You want to see how it looks like? Yes, uh, simple. This is simple table. You know table, right? Table is used to show data in the tabular format, column and row format. Can you see this? This is design is done. Username, password, time, and you have to add more. One more thing. Hello. I just want to know. I want to just add the serial number, right? And one more field I want to add. Any guess? Status. Are people confused or you got it? This is designing is going nice. And here you can add more more TD. TD, 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 TD. Done. Mm -hmm. Yep. And last. I need to add one more button. Any guess? And show here. History. Yep. Show history. This button color, you can change it. You can use warning. Warning. Or uh, you can use uh, success. Success means green. Green. Okay, it's clear. Done. Okay. Dear, what I need to understand. Actually, in Angular, we have con. Okay. We have concept of uh, property binding. What is the property binding? I am telling you. You see, when you are doing, uh, you know, uh, some web development, there would be always flow of the data. What do you say? There is always flow of the flow data. Of the data. So your design is done in app. Any guess? Dot component. Dot. TS file. This is called design file, a presentation file, and second one is called component file, where you write the logic. Allow me. Hey, where we have any guess? We have this in this. Please, which file? 
this one hello this is called component file are you following me so a if you perform some action right data will go from b to component are you following me or sometime data will be flow from component to gui are you following me so guys you are not replying is it like the, mbc is exactly like there would be flow of the data always if you perform some uh, action or event i'm sorry on the front end it will go to the component and whatever whatever data we have in the component you want to show it on gui right so basically whatever a comp a component have data like whatever state of the component is you want to bind with the gui but it should be done in the real time right it should be sync immediately guys i hope you are following me that is called property binding let me show you my dear friend so here i want to make two variable one is called username allow me property username colon how you make it initially you can give the blank vishal and all you got confused or you are following me password and one i can take for the message also message means anything you can coming soon ram and vishal who will tell me what is the difference between this this style of decla uh, declaration and this this will take only string it, 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 yeah it can take anything so better to make it a string also my job is done any question query if anybody has no question query hello are you with me say yes and uh, hey can i take some more variable i am going to take another variable status i'll tell you i'll make it very simple first after that i'll make it complex so a string uh, initially you can say blank and one more attribute date date of entry here i can make an object of date if you have any question query please let me know and here you can make an object of date like this this is uh, this is what syntax any guess this is type script type script syntax anybody have any question so far so we can make status boolean you can make status boolean also not a problem you know you you want to show true and false it is up to you right i want to show you pass and fail that's why i'm taking it mm -hmm. okay. boolean is there i hope i'm making myself clear so far no confusion so, so what about uh, any any can take any data type you can store anything right any means any you got a point where is any where is any any i am not using it he is saying okay. can i use any over here so you can i am saying any is the data type so you can use it not a problem okay. any means object type okay sir uh, this date uh, give us a time to or just the date date and time both it will give to you i'll show you okay okay, okay. so sir when you load your page first of all uh, component will be created right and whatever data you have here right you, you can pull it on the ui right initial username i want to keep jack and default password jill jill status you want to give uh, na pass and coming soon right that that's fine e can i can i access this message on my uh, html file you can do it right yes, because yes, of pr yes. property binding let's do that property binding how oh. right now i am not displaying anywhere allow me can i display in here yes, yeah go ahead here if you i need a serial number also allow me serial number means serial number you can take number right yep and initial value you can take zero make sense yep all the value can i access it on my presentation layer yes help me i am confused yep the here you can use interpolation tag this is used to fetch data from where to where from component to the html page a which attribute you have to bind which property you have to bind in the component serial number right okay. so the component is file is always going to be that format like see yeah, it yeah, has yeah. export yeah yeah component uh, this is type script syntax in component you make a class right and uh, export okay. means you want to export this component so that uh, you know you can use outside this component that's it oh okay, okay. 
and here exactly. if you don't write anything if you write public private nobody can access it right so we have only two access specifier access specifier in typescript one is private second one is public yep okay we'll talk about this separately this is called decorator tag right so decorator tag is basically used to provide metadata to your class what i said oh man you may be confused with the spring annotation at component remember the spring annotation was there this is not called an annotation in angular it is called decorator tag i will tell you what decorator tag is right so decorator tag is a you know type script concept and uh, this is function so basically decorator tag is used to associate some data with your class function parameter constructor etc we'll talk on that separately okay a hey, these values you want to show and, it on the GUI. and component can export two or more classes also right so i'll just point component what do you say so here we have in line number eight we have export class app component right so just like that can we export like two or three classes in the same component that i haven't tried let's let's do that I'm just giving the different name, right? If it is compiling, you can do it. Okay. Fine. Right? You can do it. That, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm just coming to you. My, hey, how we can do that? CL number. So CL number may be displaying here. Can you see this? Zero. And what is username? Mm. A interpolation tag fetch data from component to HTML or other way around also. What is it? Component, component channel. No, no, not other way. It is just unidirectional, one way only. It pulls the data from component to HTML. HTML. Remember it. Oh, Name. so we can use it, uh, like we can use the user entry to send no, no, it back can, to the component. Yeah, yeah. You cannot send back. That is the agenda for today, right? We'll do something which can work in the both the direction, right? It is just unidirectional. And similarly, you can show the password also. Password. Yeah, yeah, this is called data binding, property binding, right? So here so I'm just is, binding, is this a one way data binding? Yeah, this is one way data binding. Data binding is the very general word, very general terminology. Data binding includes your, you know, attribute binding, property binding, you know, CSS binding. So in data binding, we say data from both sides, right? Yeah. No, no, data binding uh, is a binding your, you know, this uh, property and attribute with HTML and component, right? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about two data binding soon. Just a sec. Here I can use status. Yep. And in last. No time. Time. Time means data entry. You can give it in, right? Name. Okay. Here, status. It right? has to Let's match see. with the attribute of the object, right? Exactly. In Otherwise, it will not compile. Can you see this? Wow. And this formatting, you can do it whatever you want to do it, right? Done. Now come to the this part. So I want to apply a click event. Can you help me for that? Yeah. For a click event on this button, how you can do that? We can use a, one of the attribute tag that is called click curl bracket. Yeah, parenthesis and auth user. This function is not there, right? It is giving you the error. I can how I can go inside. It's, it's not going. You just open this TS file and write it. You know how to write it, right? Public is optional. Uh, return type is optional. You know it. Clear? Console.log. Hello. Are with me? Yep. So when you click on it, uh, you can see this value inspect. You know it, right? Can you see this? Hello, 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 right? Like here, in last session, Previous session, I was passing the username password with the method. Today, I'm not going to do it. Mister, actually in Angular, there is a concept that is called two-way data binding. I can use one of the directive tag for it. So why? My intention, what is my intention, guys? Try to understand. My intention is when I'm typing username here, like Nagin or whatever I'm typing, right? I want this value should be pushed hmm, to the property. Guys, you are not applying. What what my intention is? What you click the time? button though. No, no, push no, the no, no, no. Before no, the moment you are typing, same time you should be sync, right? Okay. okay. When I type N, 
n should go to username oh nice n n a a n a g n a g n a g right oh nice it is not waiting to click the button right no 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 the moment when i typing this should be in sync right you want to do that yeah yeah basically you want to push the data a you want to push data from here to here makes sense so two way binding yeah basically it is up to you you want to perform two way data binding or one way data binding two way bind two data binding means if you change in jack right it will reflect in the text field if you change in the text field it will reflect in so do you understand the benefit of two way okay. data binding it is up to you you want interpolation is one way data binding or two way data binding one way that is push pulling data from component to view mm -hmm. Hello. What's the user, user page look like? What's the application of it? Can you come again? What's the user page? You know, for that. See, when you want to push the data, right? Yeah. Because uh, in the real life, you will feel the data. You don't want to pass in the auth method. Suppose in auth, right? That is not good programming. Good programming is when you change in the attribute of it, state of it, it directly should be. populated into the component so that when you click on the uh, button action uh, that data should be automatically available here do you know the benefit of it maybe when we are typing the email and we miss at it's gonna show us the error yeah, yeah you can do that that's benefit is hey who has this question please come again yeah it's me actually sir yeah yeah benefit is uh, you know if you type something over there you can perform the validations right and you, if you type all the data when you click on the auth no need to uh, fetch the data manually in the auth user that data will be automatically available to you right that is one of the feature of the object right encapsulation and all let me show you then you will feel better okay yes sir so in order to when you type something right and you want that uh, data should be linked with the user attribute uh, we can use our angular tag that is called ng model allow me which tag we have to use sir reply which tag ng model ng model so this is one of the directive tag and when you use ng model there is many way to do it right the so here this is called this is called banana and banana in box you can remember like this what i did ng model parenthesis then square bracket this is called banana in box you can remember it right that's it and here which attribute you want to bind any guess username username similarly i'll show you the benefit of it okay give me some sense, some some time and here you can write the password hello id is not required here right but name if you defining ng model name is mandatory please remember it so what is the benefit of it you see it is giving the error what error can you read it cannot bind ng model since it is not known property of input it is saying ng model is not a well known attribute of that, input yeah attribute of input it is not known to it reason is in angular there is a many module all together angular does not include every module right that's reason if you want to use this attribute you have to go to the app module.ts and you have to in include uh, one of the module a e, ng model directly works or you have to add one more module for it one more module how oh. module yeah, yeah. that is that is called input the library yeah uh, that is called form module which module form module and this form module will come from at the rate angular from this package you can say here you can write form i hope i'm making myself clear hello its name is forms module i i'm importing it and i'm just adding into the imports can you see this guys then if you understand say i understand in this uh, which directory tag is defined any guess ng model the ng model i am importing it from this library and just adding into the imports now whatever error was coming over there you can see is gone can you see this is gone sir you I are got the question here sir please tell me uh is the ng model is only used for the form model to one exactly yeah it is only for the input field right you can use 
So ng model Basically, is for only. Uh, you have to field. not input. I'm I'm wrong here, right? It's not input. You can use with form element. Form, you know, form. Like radio button, checkbox, mm -hmm. right? The, mm -hmm. the the element which you use with form, select, right? Do you know form element? Input, radio button, checkbox, select. It's a form of HTML, right? Yeah, exactly. So here, e ng model. What is the benefit of it? You can see the power man. After it, you can you see the power? If you type something over here, it will reflect here also. You want to see the magic? Type Nagendra here and see the magic. Can you see this? Hello? Because of two-way data binding, people you are not applying. Can you see this? Hello? So it's light time. Yes. Oh, nice. What happening is, this is the magic of two-way data binding. In two-way data binding, what happening is, let me show you. Because of ng model man, when you are typing it, it is going to the username and username already you are displaying here. Yes, you know. So, e, when you type something immediately, it goes to the username and from username, you are fetching it and showing it. That's why what happening? You got the reason? When you are changing here, it is reflecting here also. Yes. Here, let me show you one more magic. You can make, a, you can make a, another uh, input field. Please digest it. And for both the field, field uh, you know, temper, I, I am using the same same property, right? So what, if, so what happened because of that? Any guess? You are typing in this, I am typing in this. Why is this happening? Because this input and this input, both are bind with the same property. Same name? Oh. Okay. Same, same, same NG model, right? That's it. So Ashish, I hope you understand this. Why I'm using this? Because when you when you do it automatically, all the value uh, will be uh, bind with the component property. Now you when you click on the auth button, what is the beauty man? Hmm. This is clear. You got confused, people. Now it will be easy to verify the user when passed. Exactly. No need to pass the parameter and all. Now I'm coming to the TS file. Like in this, up uh, now what you can print man? You can print what this dot. You know I already told you right. In TypeScript, if you want to access any property of it, you have to use this. That's this object. Client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Username. Right. And what man? Password. Sir. So let's print it. Guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Don't be shy. Here, I'm just writing this and click on it. Can you see this? Wow. Mm. So benefit of it, uh, yesterday I was passing the parameter to it. No need to do it. What check we have to call, guys? As we as per the discussion. Hello, uh, Jack. Username is. Mm, this dot. Can you help me? This dot. Username. Username Jack. Joe. Uh, Joe. Uh, Password. This dot password or right? We mm -hmm. have to make two use cases as we discussed Nagin and test also. Clear? Okay. And the status is password. Clear? Please wait and see the alignment and everything. Please do like this. After it, uh, you have to uh, set the status. status. What man? This dot status. Equals to pass. Yes. Sorry, pass. Pass fell, right? Yes. Else, you have to write fell. And you want to save the message also? It is up to you. This dot message. You can you can write anything doesn't matter. Sorry, fellow. Please help me. Sorry. Well, when you do coding, <laughs> you always put your attention on it. Also, clear. You want to show this message? Message I'm not showing anywhere. Okay. I can show message on the button. Allow me. I can, hey, you want to show this message? 
where i want to put one more button hmm? this is called warning hmm? hey you want to show how how to, how to show message can i show like this yeah hmm? guys 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 and if you want to jump to the method you can click on that by pressing control button and if you allow to me you can give the new date over here how this dot new date hmm? so it will always give you the current time yep and this you can give outside hey can i type this much yeah yes okay coming soon and uh, in design you want to basically give the margin so that there should be gap yep so the here when you click on it jack and jill what happened this would message will be changed yes you know yeah he passed can you see this and here jack jill time is changed and passed clear now make the mistake hmm on it okay. time me change and sorry fail if you understand this much please say yes we can move ahead yes okay what about other yes. people yes uh, i got a question here sir on the coming soon button yeah coming soon this is a default message right when you refresh your page coming soon will be there in the beginning right but when you click on the auth button what you are doing you see when you click on the auth button you are calling auth user right and message you are changing can you see this uh, in the beginning it see was coming in line tag too right pardon we can just use in line tag too right on this tag yeah 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 you can use that you want to use that let me show oh, you i was just asking yeah yeah you can use anything whatever you want to do there is no restriction on it let me show you you he saying can we use span right man same message you can show this is going to show you two places now Okay, for beautification purpose, uh, you can use font weight, size, eighteen kind of, and color. Color you can choose of your choice. Hmm? Hello, shall I try? Coming soon, right? No. Oh, yeah. Anybody have any question query? Uh, no again. Please. Uh, so you said that you were using like a button to show the output, right? Is it's like kind of weird. Like we usually use a button to just take input. So is it like normally like uh, people do that? Like they you, you do hey pass as like an output for the button? No, this no, is just for like a test right now. I'm just teaching you. Okay. Nobody will do this kind of bad program. Yeah, it's it's really like weird. Like I saw that. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to show you. I'm just actually teaching you the concept, right? Yeah, you you can do that. You can do that, right? I'm just teaching you the concept. Try to understand. Got my point? Yep. Hello. It's okay. Let let's come to the second point, in which was in my plan. I want to make it bold so that it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hello. Done. E, I want here what happening when you are uh, entering username password every time it is getting updated. Yes, you know. Yep. I want to maintain the history of it. Are you following me? Uh, my plan was, guys, you are not replying. My plan is, I don't want to show you all the data right now. I want when somebody click on the show history button, then it should come. Yes, you know. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So in order to do it. we have to basically use the concept of array so what my plan is e i am going to make a pojo you know pojo plain old java object so no, here i am going to make a new file and that file is auth. you can give any name to it i am just giving auth.model.ts file you can give any name to it i can make a class you know how to make class export class auth in this uh, i want to keep the attribute like serial number guys you are not replying at all hmm? a yeah, serial number or the leave with the serial number i don't need uh, user username name? password uh, username you can use string 
password oh no password time time and it's out of password time status and here you can take date make sense the year you are is giving the error because you have to uh, you have to assign the value the explanation here. mark no oh, that's okay yeah you can do that here now that we used to make the optional right optional means it could be there it could not be there you know this is the type script syntax can you see this username password when you put the question mark it is optional i want to make it mandatory right so what you need to do you can write here parameterized constructor e in java how many constructor you can write as much as you want no, no. In java you can write n number of constructor but here you can write only one constructor no. you got a point so yes. what if we have to make one parameterized constructor and one non parameterized oh, we, 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 we can't do here okay we don't have this option so username password in TypeScript, I'll show you one more uh, interesting thing soon. Uh, time. Help me. Hmm? Date. Date. Okay. Status. Status. Colon. String. Now here, if you, what you need to do? You have to use this keyword. This dot. Username. You have like a semicolon over the date. Status. It should use a comma, I think. We should use comma here, of course. Yeah. This is wrong. And uh, then you can use password, password, time, time, status, status. Clear, mister? Why is giving error over here? Okay. Here, actually, there is a, you know, it should be a string, if, right? if, if you write uh, a string as a small, it is called primitive and wrapper object. So normally we should use performance purpose. We should use this primitive one. Hey guys, one more thing. Hey, you got this much? I think same thing. Guys, allow me. Here, if you, if you write private over here, let's see. Mister, if you write private over here, see the power of it this one. so no need to write all those things because it, you know all are the same thing can you see this oh mister if you write private you are not replying if you write private private there so it is it is equivalent to this so it is up to you right either you write this much or you can just write the private i'll come to on that let me make like this okay for time being okay. so how many customers can, you write can make in any case, can you write private over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many cases. Every time you will do it soon. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. So my art is done. E, this is the POJO, right? So basically what I want to do in my TS uh, file. Guys, when somebody click on. Show history. User button, auth user button. First of all, you have to, you have to store all the data in a list. Let's let us create a list in uh, TypeScript. How? You can write here a list of any guess auth, and here uh, you can you want to make list of auth type. You can use array. This syntax you can use, sir. And auth you can import it. How man? I just mentioned a u t h, and I'm going to import from where? Can you see this? Recently created file, right? src app auth model dot ts. So this is equivalent to what? Any guess? This is equivalent to list of auth. You're not replying. List of auth equals to new array list. If you understand, please mute yourself. If you if you understand, say I understand this part. If, and after that, what you need to do? Here, you, you, you have to help me. You have to make the object of in when you click when you click on it you have to make the object of it why because i want to maintain the history say yes so how to make the object any guess let auth object this type is auth 
hello everybody or you can leave it also just use new operator which operator new operator to make the object of it first parameter what you have to pass i will kill you right user username. username second parameter this dot password third parameter is date of entry right new date time the last parameter is pass make sense hello i am why is giving error okay the here i understand the issue everywhere we should use either capital or small make sense hello done so this is clear to you guys i am just making in the an you know, object of it and this object where you want to add any guess in this list list of all you can use a method push method to add it but here you have to use this this keyword i told you always right for attribute access and add this make sense yeah similarly if it is fail you, here you have to also make the object and add it hmm fail any anybody have any question query as clear now what we are doing hello now what we are doing on when click on so some, somebody click click on the button you are calling this auth user after that you are making the object of auth and in this object you are storing all the data and you eventually adding it to the list clear so what my my plan is whenever you are clicking on the login button you want to maintain the history of it can i show this the list data on my app component yes you can do it here in order to do it angular provides you for loop that is called ng for are you with me yes so then why do we create that r that model of js pardon why do we create that r that model of js you know the new class has the new model we create can you can you come close to my your question why is yeah why did we create that the new model of js class for the r r yeah 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 actually i have to store multiple data right to store yeah. multiple data you need a class this is normal core java concept okay. i want an object which can hold all together multiple attribute and uh, for one one go i'll store data in one auth uh, one auth second go i'll i'll store into second object right auth then eventually i can put everything in a array are you following me Yeah, so yeah. so next thing is i have to show all the data present in this uh, array on the gui using ng for loop similar to time loop remember in time loop we there was also loop right syntax hello here you have to do let hmm. object auth 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 and you can oh. mention this can, can you see this mr i am saying hey list give me one object right after that what you can do here man object dot give me a second auth give me a second give me a second auth dot auth can you see this username you guys are not deploying now i'm i'm fetching everything from where and uh, you will see the benefit of it why why i am doing this uh, great job what is line 47 so start yeah, yeah i'll explain to you 47 47 is nothing right here basically i have to show you 1 2 3 right number serial number yeah i'll do that so you understand how the things this thing is working yes this is called ng for loop one of the very popular directive tag for, for directive tag for the looping the thing and this is coming from typescript typescript file where we have stored all the data in array can you see this yep so here this is pointing to this yep so it is iterating it and displaying it. let let me show you how it looks like can i try hello first one pass second one see so, <laughs> and you can feel it we have done very minimal coding yes you know yep yeah. yep what the idea uh, 
Yeah, so how long does the the last the last like if you reload the base, is it gonna like uh, reset all the values so the list disappears when you reload it or is it still gonna be yeah. there? Actually you are storing this data within the page, right? So as long as this page you are not refreshing, data is there. Once you refresh it, everything will go on. So this you are just saving in the front end, right? So front end data will be only present as long as you are not refreshing it. Once you refresh it, everything is gone. Clear? So my dear friends, as per that, after that, we don't need this one. What we don't need? You don't need CL number, I am deleting it. We don't need a status, I am deleting it. Date of entry, we don't need to be deleting it. Clear? Only we need username, password, and message. Are you with me? Yep. So extra thing I have deleted it. Makes sense to you? Yeah. Because I don't need it anything right in the beginning. See, I actually deviated from the, my agenda. My agenda was I don't want to show this list, uh, you know, in the beginning. When you want to show it, when somebody click on the show history button. Agree? Yes. Yes. SN, yes. SN should have like a one, two, four like that, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's make one, two, three, four. I don't remember the syntax. Let me Google it. ng4 index basically you want to track one two three four right so there is syntax of it give me a second i think this should work right what we need to do index as I allow me, what I have to do over here, Mama. semicolon, semicolon, index as you can write anything, right? Or you can write CL number, hmm? and this CL number you can use over here. Make sense? I think it's start with zero. So, what do you have to do? It's plus the first one. So, it is going to render one, two, three, four. Let's do that. I am telling you, you should just have idea about it. Other thing can Google it. Can you see this? Hello. Done. Okay. Last thing, what you have to do? Any guess? When you click on the show, uh, when you click on this button, then only you want to show this table. My dear friend, for that, just just come with me. You can declare here a uh, boolean variable. Which variable? Boolean variable show height. Boolean variable. Clear? You can show boolean variable show height and you just make it boolean. Why? And initial value you can have false. False means you don't want to show it, right? I don't know you guys are with me or not. Yep. Yes. So so when you want to show it, you can trigger one event. But some so somebody there's a lot of background noise is coming. Please mute yourself. So here uh, I want to uh, perform some event. Which event? Click event. Then you want to show the data. Show history. We have done a lot today. Okay, I know. So here you see my style of jumping. You just press control button and put your mouse on it. You can jump to it. Public. And do I need to write the return type? No. No, no, it's not mandatory. So what you need to do, man? You have to just change the, change the status. flag. Swag. This dot. You always use this because of JavaScript. You can make it true over here. That's it. So when you click on it, it is going to show it right now what i need to do in angular there is a directive tag that is called if so you can put if condition here so today we have seen for loop and uh, if also so what you can do and if yeah yeah you want to show this table basically you just wrap inside the due whole thing in a division. That's true. 
and here you can use we'll talk more about it right ngf hello ngf and in this you have to use the boolean value what show it can you see this please it in NGF, true. If, if it is oh. true it will show you if it is false it will not show you in the beginning a you got confused no ng if if this is true uh, then it will show you the entire deal if it is not there it will not show you the entire i'll i'll talk about ng if in much 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 detail separately so initially value is uh, false that's why it will show, it is not showing can you see this no so again i am adding multiple values a it is getting a store right and when you click on it vishal what is going to do when you click on the show history hello then it goes to this method and it is just making this flag true once flag becomes true then what happen people it is true yeah that should show the thing let's do that i am telling you you don't feel it feel it is very simple whatever you have done earlier in javascript jquery it was very complex now can you see this then yeah see first time when you click on it you want to show it right second time when you click on it uh, if you want to hide you can do it right it is up to you you want to do that yeah you have to just put some condition right what condition if it's false change it to true exactly. if it's true change yeah, it to false yeah, yeah. simple simple you can do it not a big deal you can try that okay yeah and uh, you can change it right let me show you actually i want to change <laughs> i need your help i want to change this button button what label right so can you allow me how i can do that please allow me allow me you can take one more flag okay what name is show give me a second show history hey, this is my button 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 name button label can you see this guys yeah hello? its initial value is So history. No method is there already. That's why, right? So history BT. Okay. Hey, you can show Change history. Small s. Yeah, yeah, small s. Use this, and here you can come to this HTML, and here you can use inter interpolation tag. Can you see this? Hello, and uh, when somebody click on it, what I want to do? You can change the the label of it. What man? Hide history. Hide history. Very nice. Hide history. So let's see. Okay. So what we can do? We are calling the same function on both, right? So here you can if simple you have to do, right? If it is true. then you have to do hide history am i right people if it is show then you have to do hide history because when you click on it right first time that's fine let's do that okay uh, uh, we, we can do that okay then click 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 t t t t can you see this Now, now when you click on the hide history button, you can take the decision, right? Whether you have to show it or not. How you can take the decision on the basis of label. Let's make it simple, right? My dear friend, e, I make you confused, right? Let me make it simple. What man? If uh, this value is, any guess? Show history means. Mm. So it means you want to show this, right? Yep. And uh, what should be the button label? Hey, you are not replying. In that case, or we can, or we can check if this dot so hide is false. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is the better way because in that. Uh, you can think about it when you toggle it there will be issue okay you can try in that way okay and then see okay. the difference this is the better way i would say else part you have to make false false means you want to hide it and here you have to write show history people think about it hmm? if button 
show history then you have to show high true and button you have to toggle it am i right in this case yes when some when it is opposite of it like high history then false it and make button show history i think now we are up to mark yep you can use now again test and click on this now show history can you see this when you say hide it's gone done. so guys i have done with the today session right if you have any question query you can ask and i'm just giving the assignment which you have to try what you have to try my dear when all the listing is there you here you can introduce one more button ram and bishal one more button you introduce uh label that is called action and here you can introduce a delete button what button delete delete and when you click on delete button data should be deleted you have to work on it so people just be honest i know today we have done a lot but you try whatever you can do try because once you do this much after that we can move to the next i hope whatever we have done today you have understand right? yeah. in the beginning already i explained you what i am going to do right and after that same thing we have implemented in this session so guys i think it is enough for today i am just stopping my session till here thank you so much